Then we did enjoy it. We did. Because that was just to make it so weird. <laughs> All right, folks, so it's important to read with your kids, no matter how young they are, I am told. Uh, just ask that Marion Carter, a, a mom who makes sure a reading session isn't missed with her son, Luca. Uh, Luca kind of a little antsy this morning, but he's, he's somewhere here, and hopefully we'll get a little sneak peek of Luca. But he's a little antsy, and he don't want to sit down with us. Morning, welcome to Smile Jamaica. Thank you so much for having me. Um, as a young person, did you like reading? I loved reading. Why? I was always reading. But Luca people didn't like read. All right, I blame my mother. Oh, don't, well, it's not a blame. But, <laughs> <laughs> but as far as I know, well, let me not say that, because me never like read. I, I love it now, but as a mm -hmm. young man, I did not like to read. So you, you were, what, pushed into it? Or you, you... No, I, and even for all kids, I don't think kids are born loving to read. After all, them can't read, yeah. <laughs> you know? You teach them, and, and you, you take them places with these books and these stories. So my mom did that for me. My mother's thing was for bonding, she took me to the bookshop. There was this bookshop in Spanish for Town. bonding? Yes. She takes you to the bookshop. Yes, so she would not take me out of school. Not to buy toys or no. not like that, you go to the bookshop. Books, books. Yeah. So after I mean, a while you just kind of started to enjoy that. I yes, I absolutely enjoyed that. I loved collecting books, borrowing books. <laughs> Everything with books, writing did, stories, did telling stories. Of course. Well, I just want to know, you know, it cost me off. So, um, I was, in preparing for this, I read that you started to read to Luca while he was in your tummy. Yes. So where do you look down and say, Luca, so what? No, you know, you're lying down with this big belly in front of you, rest the book on top of it and you read to the child. So my mom always said you should read to the babies from there, in, you, in your stomach because then they get an appreciation for it from that time. I mean, I thought that was kind of weird, but I would read to him and of course he would react. Sometimes my ribs oh, you got the worst react. of it. Oh, so it. I get a one kick, kick and I know that's something going on <laughs> so in there. So kick and say, oh, look, I just understand what I'm saying. Luca is what, you know, two and a half years he's old? He's two and a half now. When did you get the feeling that he really understood what you were reading to him? So he doesn't understand everything but he loves listening to us read out loud, right? And he's always trying to mimic what we're saying. So he will look in the book and point at the words and tell the story himself based on the pictures that he's seeing. And I, I realized that he knew what we were saying and understood the stories when he started talking about them, even outside of bedtime story time, mm -hmm. you know? So we'll be in the kitchen and we're talking about Pat the Cat. And Pat the Cat is his favorite one, by the way. That is an amazing book. Pat yes, this one right here. right here. Pat the Cat. Never heard of Pat the Cat. Look here. <laughs> I give this book to as many people as possible as a gift. Why? This book is a treasure. Pat Open the it. Cat. Open it. Well, Open I it. Well, I, I wanted them to, to, to get a picture of the front. There you go. Kim Robinson Pat. Walcott, she did an amazing job with this book. It is so simple, but hilarious. So, I... I me kind of dance, but I'm just going to guess that the cat named Pat. Yes. It is a very simple thing. I'm not dance at all. Me are the brightest man. Pat yes. the cat. Um, and Pat was a cat. Pat was, well, I don't man. So Pat was a cat. <laughs> Pat was fat. She sat on a mat and made it flat. Pat wore a hat as she sat on the mat. The mat said, drat, you've made me flat. <laughs> <laughs> me love it. <laughs> <laughs> then one day a bat came and sat on Pat's hat. Pat shrieked, what is that? And she heard, Rasta bat. bat. <laughs> I, I love this. I'm a nutty dread bat. My name is Inat. <laughs> I like come here to make your hat flat. flat. <laughs> <laughs> All on the Spandy Lewis enjoyed it. I love that. This one is um, adapted by Sidella Marley. Marley. Every little thing based on the, the three little birds. Yes. Uh, how do you choose the books though? Um, how do you decide which ones you want to read to him? So I use my mother's strategy. I take him to the bookstore and he picks out what he likes. <laughs> but <laughs> but just, that course, was just from pictures. He would just say a picture. Yes, he'll say, pick them out and he'll ask about the books. And of course, I do a little pre-read. But I love to show him books that have kids that look like him. Representation is very important to me. Beautiful. So, you know, books like these where he looks and he says, Ooh! This looks like Luca. <laughs> Beautiful. Right? And I love to see diversity in the books. This one is a great one. This one is written by Rowan Sylvester and it shows diversity. He gets to see kids in wheelchairs. He gets to understand that 
people are different, you know, and there are these great illustrations. You have all kinds of people in there, different people that yeah. he sees yeah. all okay. over the place. Yeah. They were just right? looking at it. Yes. Yeah. Um, and what kind of child is he outside of this? What kind of does he sit or he moves around a lot? So how difficult is it for you to get him to to sit and, and you know listen and you know understand? So he, he requests bedtime stories. And it's always, read it again, mommy, read it again. <laughs> so he stays for that. He has fun with it, you know, roll around in bed until him drop asleep. But outside of that, he is quite active now. <laughs> he okay, goes, he loves to go outside, play football, pick up stone, lizard. What? Truck. Pick drive up lizard. Truck, everything. No, sir. <laughs> Listen. No, don't bring him come to my house. You know, I'm going to pick up one iron come to my house with it. No, sir. I am very happy for it that he's not afraid of lizards no, no, because that's, I am. That's Well, I am very afraid. And, you know, your deal has started growing a while ago when you say pick up lizard. <laughs> deal has, no, we're not inviting him to the way house. <laughs> Irie morning. I re do you have a favorite one? You say him love Pat so, the Cat, but do you Pat have the a... Pat the Cat is kind of stuck in my head, right? <laughs> <laughs> because he asks for it so much, and then whenever it's bedtime, you know, he will pick his book off his off the shelf, and yeah. it's usually Pat the Cat. But <laughs> I do love Irie Morning because this one is... It's also by another Jamaican, Alison Moss Solomon, right? And it's about a little boy who doesn't like to wake up in the morning. Yeah. And Luca does not like to wake up in the morning. He wants to sleep as late as you let him. But I do love this one particularly, Ian Takes Flight by Richard Natu, because Luca is fascinated by the illustrations. They're so colorful. Yeah. And the story, the story is the story of the childhood I wanted for myself, where you go to the countryside, you climb tree, you swim in a river, you kick rock stone. That story That's was... That's what you wanted to do? Yes, but I never have any country. I always listen to everybody else talk about going to the country, to their auntie and their uncle, yeah. and I would have just bad mind them. What do you want for Luca? <laughs> what I want for Luca? Because everybody wants to be doctor, lawyer, Indian chief, but what do you want for Luca? What do you, for, you just want to see him grow up as a nice little boy, don't you? I just want to see him grow up and live his best life. I, yeah. I don't have any intentions of living my life through him. I have my oh, life. He has his. Luca, where's Luca? Come here, Luca. <laughs> Luca, come here, son. Here's mommy. Here's Luca. Hello. Hi, <laughs> say good morning. Here is Luca. How are you, Luca? All right, Luca is fine. This Luca, is where's your Neville? favorite book? This is my favorite. This yes. is Neville, right? Come take up your favorite book. Show me your favorite book. Pick up the favorite one. Which one you like? Tell me which one you like. This one here? Oh, Lord. This one here? The missing, the missing oink. oink. Yes, you see the state of that book? The missing oink? Come, you want to sit beside me? Come here, Luca. Come sit right here. Come. Come sit right here. Well, look at your heavy. <laughs> Porridge uh, and dumpling. Yeah, missing oink. Here's your book. Hey, this is Luca. Luca, she's taking a picture. Wave, wave. wave. Luca, go like that. Wave. Wave. Oh, Luca, not too impressed with the picture. <laughs> Look, I said, give me a break. Great to meet you, son. Fantastic to meet you. Great I'm job. Here. Great Thank job. You. Great job. And hopefully when Luca get big and, and start to read himself, he will come back. Luke's. Luke's, they tell me, say, you weren't going to keep quiet and you come in and you keep quiet. Right? <laughs> and they tell me, say, if you come, you are going to run up and down, eh? Good to meet you. I love you. Make him defrost. That's <laughs> <laughs> Luca. Luca, Luca, tell her you don't want to take a, the, the picture. All right? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Luca, what's this? I want to give me a chance, so man. I'm hungry. Yes? <laughs> That's the TV, yeah. It's big. It's big. It is big. You want mm -hmm. it? Where are you no. going to put it? <laughs> Great again to meet you guys. Yes. Thank um, you for Marian having me. Marion Carter, and they're very, very... Well, them same is a busybody, but Luca is quite fine. Look how Luca <laughs> sit uncomfortable. Eh? Is the picture, Luca, is the camera you like, no? Yes. We eh? love are you looking pictures. at yourself on TV? There you are. See right there. Oh, you see me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go for a break. When we come back, uh, 10 minutes to your health. Stay with us, please. Soon come.